Om Shanti, welcome to 9th of October's Call to Blessing. Supreme Father says, may you be tolerant and tolerate every situation with love by understanding the Father's orders. Some children say that although they are right in any situation or any kind of conversation with people, it is they who have to tolerate everything and die in every situation. Die means not physically die, but die means that they have to let go their ego, they have to let go their self-respect, they have to get, let go of everything, even the respect in front of others. So I am proven wrong in front of others, even though I was right, but I have to say yes, I was wrong in front of others. So that is like dying, right? That's the highest test in front of others, especially. So God says that children say that we have to die in every situation. Why only me? Why should I only tolerate? However, to tolerate or to die in this way means to claim a number in the subject of dharna. So the knowledge of Murli is not to mug up the points which Baba is telling us on a daily basis. Generally, souls who are very powerful, even a child can mug up all the Murli and remember all the points. But God is talking about dharna. He says, if you are not able to increase the power of tolerance by remembering that who is making you tolerant and why you are becoming tolerant because you have to become a Maharaja or you have to become a world emperor in the future so that when your royal family, when your subordinates or when your praja, they are in front of you in Satyuk and Tritayuk, Golden Age and Silver Age, you don't have to tolerate, right? But when the corporate starts and when the conflict starts, that's the time this power which you are practicing right now to tolerate will be useful then. So God is bringing this power of practice into us for a very long term. He's a visionary, infinite visionary. We sometimes look at the present situation and we believe that and we feel that right now I have to be right. And that is known as ego. So we have to practice a lot on this. Even I need to practice a lot on this. And that's what Prama Kumari says. And Baba says that that is, you are going to get numbers in the subject of Dharna. So there are four subjects. Gyan, Yoga, Dharna, Seva. That means knowledge, meditation or remembering father. And then imbibing this knowledge and changing your character. And then serving others. Therefore, do not be afraid of having to tolerate something. Some children do tolerate things, but there is a difference between tolerating something out of compulsion and tolerating it, tolerating it out of love. So compulsion could be survivor. So you're surviving because of somebody, you have to tolerate. You are dependent upon someone, so you have to tolerate. So that is compulsion God is saying. But don't think of it as that as a compulsion thing that you're imbibing this quality or this power which is going to go along with you for many, many births. So God is trying to make us a visionary. He's trying to make us see beyond the limitations. And then he says, and tolerating it out of love is very different. So when you tolerate out of love, that means you love the father. You love that he has given you the order to tolerate, guidance to tolerate, as a guru is an order, as a teacher is a guidance, as a father out of love, he's saying, please tolerate. I understand that you are in Kali Yuga. things will happen, situations will keep on coming, tolerate. So he's saying out of love, tolerate, out of the love of his work, what he's trying to do, he's trying to convert hell into heaven. So if we also put fire into uh, water, which father is trying to do, He's trying to put water and we're trying to put fire. Then we're going against his work, right? Then that is not love. So you are not tolerating it because of the situation, but it is the father's orders to be tolerant. So as a father, as a child, that's the relationship he's trying to make us realize. So to consider it to be an order, to tolerate things out of love, means to transform yourself and you receive marks for that. And who's going to give the marks? Supreme teacher and supreme Sadhguru. And these marks are going to help us to be tolerant in many, many births. Let's not forget that. Om Shanti.